Hello everyone. Welcome to Julia Hinjung's Cottage Stories. So let's make a pouch with lining. So last video I did a pouch without lining. So this is the remaining cloth uh, left for making a pouch from that sofa material. So his name is Jono. What's your name? Jono. Your name is Jono. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Subscribe my mama's channel. Say subscribe my mama's channel, please. A like, share. The pouches I made from that material, so I put to out from the old sofa uh, sets, sofa sets. So this pouch is having lining, that's why it's looking so intact. Okay, then so intact. And this runner I got from an old purse, and I put my pencil, pen, and everything in this. And uh, this pouch is not having lining, and that's why this looking so. Uh, uh, so I put my ornaments in this okay so, uh, so so this we can or uh, it looks like something so this is another model okay so this is another model I will uh, make a video later I have already done a video two years back so this is another model this um, pouch we can used for uh, carrying the lunch or in, uh, like something picnic or something and this is the pouch i uploaded in the youtube channel this also don't have that uh, lining that's why it's uh, looking so uh, i fixed this handle over it okay then we can so uh, i and this pouch also have lining okay so this is my makeup box makeup pouch okay everything is in it Okay, makeup pouch. Okay, come back powder. Mine is not much expensive. My make I don't do makeup uh, usually. I just do tar put talcum powder and go. <laughs> so these are my um, this cosmetic. I mean beauty products. Okay, and the remainder thing is this is also having the lining, and this doesn't have lining. So this pouch, uh, this. Um, is made uh, the word I have told you if it is uh, I, I just that little more if we make the difference between the length we are calculating we are measuring here okay when it is increasing this uh, the width the, it will become very wide and uh, this size become narrow uh, but if it is very small it will become the sides become um wide and it will become lengthy the height increase height decreased and width increased height decreased and width increased but if we, if we make it is very small the height increase and width decreases that is the difference so that's how i made i put all my spoons and this uh, knife and scale scrap pull everything i put okay this also don't have lining okay if we put lining it will be more long lasting and we can handle it very easily so let's start with this pouch okay lining pouch okay so this is the zipper i got from an old post i got my runner the shop uh, the runner i bought from the shop finished runner and zipper finished then this lining is also i took from the old sofa set okay uh, then um, what you have to do is uh, I'm just taking I need height increased height uh, uh, height increased and width uh, decreased okay I'll take three centimeters okay three three this is Not this line, this line, okay. Three, three, and here two. 
three, three, three. Then we cut here. Okay, this small pieces we cut. Jono, I don't need your help. So one thing you have to remember before cutting these four sides, you have to maintain each levels in a typical square. Only then it will be more uh, uh, intact look like a square shape or a rectangle shape. Okay, so then it looks like this. Okay, uh, my lining is not much like this length is very, see, my lining length is not getting from here. So I have to take another lining, see. My lining is not enough. I need to take another lining. So I took another lining. So you can see this is a cloth lining and it is more very thin and it will not give much uh, strength or much uh, in uh, what strength for the pouch. Uh, so if you have to get the pouch in absolute shape we need to take a lining in a good thickness okay I mean the thickness like this I don't know whether we if, if, maybe it is available in the shop okay or else you can take a very thicker cloth Then I will draw this outline to cut from this lining. So then I will cut this. Jono! Okay, at last I cut. Okay, you can see the mess uh, Jono is making. So like how you have to place your lining on the... 
Jono, Jono, don't mess with. Take your sippers. Okay, mm, then make sure the granule should come out, should not come out. Okay, may something you have to make sure. Okay, keep it back. So we have to. Uh, place uh, your lining on the right side of your cloth, main cloth. Then this part, okay, this part of the cloth, uh, this one. If you are keeping the zippers, the upper part, upper part, keep like this, and the upper part, right side, right side together, right side. So the runner should come in between, okay, uh, and. To Keep it like this. Then take the lining and keep it on this zipper. Okay, like so. So then you have to sew with your foot uh, zipper footer. Okay, then it will come like this, and I will show you how it will look. So you can see I sew. Um, I gave a stitch over here um, that is sandwiching the zipper part of the upper zipper part right side of the zipper part and the main cloth right side join together and so the line between the lining and the main cloth uh, we fix with the zipper upper part okay with the zipper foot okay then it will look like this okay then we open it it looks like this okay so take this like this okay you can see okay see like this okay. then I'm going to give a top stitch here so I gave the top stitch then you have to take this part okay hold this part okay you just remember the position okay the zipper is in the upper position and the main cloth is in the upper part okay then I play I hold this main cloth then again I will sandwich this zipper part the, the not non sealed zipper part sandwich between this main cloth and this lining okay then I will give a top stitch okay then I sewed like this okay, in the top part then what you have to do is you just uh, take the zipper and uh, uh, okay, this looks like this. Okay, now it looks like this. Okay, then you have to hold the zipper together and the main cloth take to the top of the lining. Okay, then arrange like this. So now it is, it came like this. Okay, zipper and okay. the only thing we have to finish is join the sides then we have to take this again inside out okay now it's like this now we are going to do the same procedure what we have done with the non lining pouch okay from with this i having given the top stitch okay i have to give the top stitch okay i will show you how to give this top stitch here like this okay uh, the same procedure i will give the top stitch okay by holding the zipper uh, like this then i will give the top stitch the machine so now i'm going to sew these two sides together okay i sew this side then i will cut this portion zipper extra portion make sure their zipper runner is not outside this inside okay then i am just trimming and then okay then you can join these four sides okay like not like this you have to hold this opening and make it like like a line okay then uh, join this sides and and join this side 
and join this side by holding these two pieces together okay give two stitches double stitches and join these sides so i join this four sides the same like we did for the non lining pouch okay then open take it outside keep make every corners come out see and so even though this lining is not much um i mean thicker but this pouch looks so a little stiff more stiff not like this okay not like this okay. i forgot to add okay i just was in a hurry to make like okay. i forgot to add so this has got much height and less width height increase decreased height increased height and less width more height less width okay that is how it looks and this pouch you can use to uh for your any purpose for keep your money or anything you can for use okay so you can fix a handle also with this remaining uh if you are having remaining cloth you can fix the handle like a small handle okay after fixing everything you can fix the handle no problem okay so this is how a lining pouch looks like okay okay so i hope you like my video as jorna told you please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and like this like the video okay so see you in the next video bye take care god bless